Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we registered an MX9 run with some ground control points and validated the result with the checkpoints. Now we want to adjust the other run to the reference run. To do that, we will use the new run to run registration workflow in TBC 520. TBC has supported run to run registration since 5.0. But that workflow is actually adjusting the second run to a set of reference points from the first run. Users need to pick all the reference points manually, and the registration quality highly depends on the density and the distribution of the reference points. You may still observe offsets in between the reference points. Starting from TBC 520, we introduce a new run to reference run workflow in which reference points are no longer required. The scans are compared every 20 meters or every two seconds, depending on the speed of the vehicle. This new method will provide a much more consistent alignment along the runs. In this project, we have two runs covering the same road from both sides. Run 1 in green has been registered to ground controls, but it's obvious that run 0 in the brown color doesn't match with it everywhere. To align them, we will right-click on run 0 and choose Register Run to Run. The same command can be found in the mobile mapping ribbon as well. Give it a name, then use the drop-down menu to pick the adjusted run and the reference run. Optionally, you may even swap the runs. To streamline the workflow, we provide two quality control options in the command. The Update Scans option will allow TBC to generate new point cloud once a trajectory is computed. No extra clicks, but sometimes it's a good idea to review the residuals before heading towards a scan update. In those cases, uncheck the box. The Open Cutting Plane View option will create a cutting plane along the trajectory in order to make visual check. It won't be activated if the first box is unchecked. Notice that run 1 actually has two trajectories now. Which one is referred to? TBC will always use the latest trajectory for processing and export, and it will always be the last one resides under the node. Click Compute. Once the trajectory is calculated, the update scan will start automatically. Meanwhile, the results tab will list detailed residual information. To learn more about the statistics, you can go to TBC Help Doc and search for Run to Run. When the process is complete, the cutting plane view will automatically open. A new plane definition is created from the linear trajectory. Now you can use the slider to evaluate the result. Don't forget to turn off the old scans and turn on the new ones.
Since this is also a registration, we can review the result from the mobile mapping mission report. You can jump to the trajectory by clicking on the blue hyperlink. Enjoy the well-aligned point clouds. Let's look at another scenario. In this dataset, we didn't collect any control points and both runs are in the raw condition. I can align either run to another, but it's better to use the longer run as the reference because it will provide the necessary overlap for the shorter run. Meanwhile, there is a relatively large offset between these two runs. The horizontal offset is over 2 meters. If we start run-to-run -run registration right away, the bad initial value will lead to bad output. We recommend you to make a global shift on the adjusted run whenever the initial offset is over 1 meter. Then the run-to-run -run registration will go much smoother. First, I will create a cat point from the reference run. Then I will use this single point to shift the adjusted run. Right click on the run name and choose register a run. Make sure the registration type will be global. Now we can find the point pair. The picking doesn't have to be very precise. After the compute, you should see a shifted trajectory in the 3D view. Apply it. With the new trajectory, you don't need to update the scans. Instead, we can head to the run-to-run -run registration right away. Why? Because TBC will always use the latest trajectory for data processing. In this case, you only need to regenerate the scans at the end of the run-to-run -run registration. Now we can check the result in the cutting plane view. And check the result in the 3D view. 
as you can see, no more duplicates. This concludes the run-to-run -run registration workflow. Thank you for watching.